Oh, wow, this is really dark, ladies and gentlemen. Lounging with Lisa, I'll make the light go on. The video series that has me lounging while coming at you with thoughts today, or in this case, at night. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, I should have said. It looks like I don't have any hair, but I do. It's just whooped up. Whooped up. I dropped in to tell you something really wild and crazy. I made a video earlier, but I decided not to upload it. That's not what I'm going to tell you. You know Thomas the Possum, of course. Um... Remember the other night when he brought a friend along? Okay. So he was running late. And I don't, he's not really running late. He can be here anytime from like till 1 in the morning. But I'm not going to sit out here that long. I'm exhausted from working with Joel today. That's all another story. Plus I have stuff to tell you about. Um, after I made that video the other day about my column and stuff. My boss called me. And um, yeah, it's, I don't want to even talk about it uh, right now. Because I want to tell you the story. So, I'm sitting here and I'm a little bit concerned because there was a possum that was killed on the road up here. But it's not Thomas. It's too big and light colored. Joel's assessed the situation and Mick did as well. I don't know what conclusions Mick drew. But, um, so anyhow, I've been a little bit concerned, you know, because you never know, even though it looked big. Whatever. Suddenly, Thomas was in the, or like, near the galvanized tub that I put out there now and so I, I was talking to Joel I think and I set the phone down and well I mean it was like voice clips I said oh Thomas is here now whatever and so I got up and that the light came on and I started to approach like I always do there's never a problem I can walk right up like I can be here in the dark like I was just a few seconds ago with you and make the light go on and just say hello Thomas how are you and walk right over there's never a flinch there's never a uh there's nothing, there's no pearl clutching on Thomas's part or anything. And this one, and so I got there and it like turned immediately and kind of scurried. And I'm like, Thomas, it's okay. And then I started looking closely. I thought, that doesn't look like Thomas. So, um, I keep looking over there suspiciously. I'll just look here. So it went to the main part of the healing tree. Oh, good land. Um, you know, the main part of the... What happened? Why won't it go on? Okay, the main part of the healing tree. The big part there in the middle, sort of. Which is a major spot for Thomas. And it just looked a little confused on what to do. And was kind of getting hung up there. and well, It wasn't Thomas. It was just hard for me to recognize at first that it was not Thomas at all. And um, it's about the same size. A little bit bigger. Thomas is pretty small. But they could have been maybe litter mates or however you say it. I don't know. Den mates or whatever. Uh, Joey mates. Whatever the case may be, ladies and gentlemen. But, I mean, it let me get pretty close, this one. Because um, normally they'll just, you know, run off totally. I think, and so does Joel. And Joel's really used to the great outdoors. He's kind of known as Grizzly Adams around here. Not really, but kind of. Uh, we both think that the other night... When that other one was there, I don't know what to call it, Thomas the Second or something, uh, that it observed, you know, they do, they actually do remember where food is and blah, blah, blah. And I was making a big fuss over Thomas and I was, you know, scratching his head and touching his tail and visiting with him. And this one just sat there and looked, looked, looked. I think it's the same one. And, um, but it's definitely not Thomas because, first of all, Thomas has never been frightened of me once. Not even when he approached here five weeks ago at this point, And I'd shown a flashlight and I'm like, hey, baby possum, whatever. I mean, he didn't jump into my arms and embrace me immediately. But eventually I was able to approach him and hand feed him. And then, you know, touch his tail and scratch his back and all that. And scratch his head and pick him up and sing to him and... Tell him everything's going to be okay. No, that part's made up. But, um, yeah, so it's another one. And it's kind of nervous, but it has not hit the ground yet. It's up in the tree. So we really think that it is remembering where the food was and might even remember not to be afraid of me. I'm not sure if they're that... Brilliant, but I like to think they are. Do you know what I'm saying? Do I know what I'm saying even, ladies and gentlemen? So that's what's going on here right now at 11 o'clock at night. I really wanted to go to bed. 
I thought I'll just go to bed and then get up and check on Thomas to see if he made it by. Plus, this one, it can't be Thomas because it doesn't have the little patch thingies, but it's not familiar with all the places where food is. Totally familiar because by now, wait, there it is. Um, Thomas would have been out on this limb eating some cheese. This possum's hanging around, though, so it's not horrified. Here's how I look when I drive or go to a movie or look at something across the room, ladies and gentlemen. I have to wear glasses. But for close-up, I do not have to wear glasses. Okay, so at any rate, yeah. Um, hold on, please. Tina, I guess I'll call it Tina for now, is over there where Thomas normally is. And let me just make sure it's not Thomas. Oh my God, this is crazy behavior. I don't know, it might be Thomas. I'm gonna pause. Okay, it's not Thomas, but it's, um, it stopped and looked at me and then, cause Thomas uses his tail differently in that part of the tree and all. And then it, um, I can smell the possum odor, like a little bit of possum odor, maybe from nerves or something. And I don't usually smell Thomas, but um, Katie does. So, anyhow, it's up there eating. It, it didn't, you know, freak out or give me the cross sign or do anything uh, weird. It just kind of went up the tree to eat something. That's what's happening here, ladies and gentlemen. I just hope Thomas is okay. And um, I hope little Tina... Wouldn't that be cute if it were a girl? <laughs> and then she gave birth and... Thomas was the father, and they weren't litter mates after all, and they lived happily ever after for their lengthy life of one to four years. How depressing is that, ladies and gentlemen? Well, at any rate, I guess that's all. I'm going to go. That's an update on Thomas. I'm sorry I couldn't show you him tonight, or Tina, or Thomas the Second, or whatever you want to say, but at least you have an update, and I'll tell you more about my horrific um, work life later. I want to keep this uplifting after all, don't I? I can hear possums chewing, or a possum. I love this. You know, I've got to say, I just adore it. I look really suspicious, but I'm just trying to see what's happening over there. Yeah. Okay, uh, over and out here on Lounging with Lisa, the video series that has me lounging while coming at you with thoughts of the day. Join me, join others. Draw, join others. Drop your political identities. Let's focus on issues. Leave labels at the door. Research before you judge. And remember, war is a racket. Oh, don't take my word for it. Check out General Smedley Butler, what he had to say. It hurts to click. You know, I'm using different parts of me that haven't been used in years, ladies and gentlemen, for this painting gig. It is wild. It would be better if I didn't have back pain, crotch pain, foot pain, occasional tooth pain, and a headache. But you'll have that. Okay, um... Well, here comes the possum. Damn, I wish I could show you. There's no way I'm going to shine a flashlight on this one or anything. It's it's just getting used to being here. How sweet. I mean, it's kind of nice I'm able to talk and it's not freaking out. Maybe eventually it'll warm up to us as well. Joel thinks it will. Because, and he thinks also they, you know, since he has Grizzly Adams and everything, he knows how they travel and... How they'll pick up. And this one observed. It observed, ladies and gentlemen. What a sneaky, sneaky possum. It's all right, little sweetheart. Oh, my gosh. Okay, on that note, I'm just going to go ahead and sign off. Love you.